What is pole dancing? Um, pole dancing to me is passion, it is fitness, it is strength, um, stress reliever, it's sexiness, it's everything. Um, what you should think pole dancing is, it's not what comes to mind first, everybody thinks a stripper, but it's not. Um, pole dancing is basically gymnastics on the pole. Um, it's flexibility, it's endurance, it's strength, it's um, the embodiment of a woman. Um, yes, it's sexy and it's still taboo, but it, it is what it is, it's, it's me. All right, so we just pulled up at my daddy's house. Um, this lovely bundle right here. Um, so we gonna see what's going on over here. So. All right, so um. This house is where I grew up at. I was brought home from the hospital here. That was so long ago, it was 29 years ago. Yes, I'm 29, I don't look like it, but I am. Um, but yeah, me and my little brother, or older brother actually, and my little sister, we grew up in this house. So definitely a lot of memories here. Um, and we, we had a, a good childhood actually. It wasn't bad at all. Um, we grew up with um, both my mom and dad, and then they got divorced um, when I was younger. And then um, my dad um, raised us after that, after the divorce. So, um, but it was fun growing up. I mean, me and my brother were pretty close. Um, me and my sister, six years apart. So we fought all the time. <laughs> but uh, we are close now, I guess. We talk all the time now. But it was fun, I mean, I don't think we were deprived from too much of anything. So um, he did the best he could with us. So, I mean, we're pretty close. Um, I went to that school right there, elementary school. Uh, I, we all did, me, my brother, and my sister went there um, when we were younger. Um, everybody pretty much in my family lives pretty close to here. My grandmother lives around the corner. Both of my aunties live over there around that corner. So we're all around here. Um, but other than that, childhood, it was nice. It was nice. We played, we fought, had fun, good times, Christmas time, family time, dinner at the table that you'll see when I go in here and talk to my daddy. Um, but otherwise it was cool. I don't think I had any type of bad memories. This is my grandparents' house. Uh, my grandma and grandpa stay here. Um, yeah, she was a big part of me growing up. Like, that was like my mama, really. Um, she don't like being on camera, though, so we're not gonna talk to her today. But but this is, you know, another big part. Me, my cousins, my brother, all of us. This was our hangout spot. Grandma Cook, we here. Um, it was one point where we actually lived with her for a little bit, um, and then um, we had moved back into my dad's house for a little bit after um, they had split up or whatever, but um, yeah, grandma, this is my grandma, she left me a message on my birthday on the 8th the other day, and it was so cute, I still have it saved on my phone, I might have to play it for y'all, I just I was like, oh, grandma, you really love me, but... Yeah, this is their humble abode, and we still go over there every Sunday, so I'll probably be back over here later on today and see what she cook. Now, Grandma's food is always the best. Um, but yeah, her and my grandpa are still together. Uh, they've been together since forever, like 50-something years, 
60 some years. I don't know, somewhere around here, but forever. Um, so they my role models when it comes to relationships. But yeah, this is it. This is where they live. Been here since before I was born. So my daddy actually grew up in this house. So that tells you how old that is. This house right here, did you ever think about that? No, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I really didn't think about, um, you know, pole dancing way back then. I mean, kind of a little bit as I got older, I was like, man, I want to be a stripper. But then I was like, no, I don't have a personality for it. But um, I think definitely, you know, if I wasn't in this house, I probably would have went a different direction. Um, but yeah, this definitely molded me to to the person I am today is uh, living in the house and in these memories at this house. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, see what my daddy about to do. Um, he in here somewhere, we gonna find him. So just follow me. And that's Teresa, it's my dad's wife. This is my daddy. Say hi to the camera. Oh, we're rolling. Yeah, we rolling. Hey, how you doing? Can you tell us about Stephanie growing up, how she was as a child and stuff? Stephanie, Don't be lying either. No, I'm not. <laughs> Stephanie, she's she's a middle girl. So Stephanie's always been easygoing. She's one of those type of people that can go either way. You know, she um, um, always been determined, driven. Um, He's always been my A student too. Yeah, I so, know. Hope yeah, was a she, good kid. she was a good kid. She was a good kid. Um, she actually started as a like a um, uh, a workout routine, and it, she, it was never brought up or seen to me, as far as I'm concerned, as a stripping type thing. It was always just a a, a fitness type uh, activity. So, no, I was okay with it from the get go. So, I mean, from the beginning, it was it was good with me. So. I always got time to break your neck. Well, yeah, yeah. I always thought hanging yeah. upside down from the pole, she's gonna fall and hurt herself. But mm -hmm. other than that, I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah.